Hi, my name's Sean, I work here at Cooper Studio, and this is a high-speed video of how I go about editing a beauty shoot. Uh, so here I'm just looking for spots and bits of flyaway hairs and stuff like that that can um, you know, be removed to make the overall image look a little bit uh, smoother. So here I'm just getting rid of uh, basically like any form of you know pimples and things like that that won't be there next week. I don't really add anything to the photo and they're not permanent. You don't lose any character from the person by you know get, getting rid of them. So generally I'll go through and yeah, get rid of the stuff that is impermanent. And that includes uh, yeah, all these little stray hairs that um, yeah, inevitably uh, uh, blow around the face. It's very normal, a big part of what I do. Um, I try to go about it as uh, quick as I can, but uh, yeah, it is uh, quite time consuming. Uh, yeah, I think this uh, this process probably took me about you know twenty minutes for this uh, for this whole image on the on this one. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I sped it up so we don't have to watch all of that. Um, here I'm going over the eyes a bit, just um, reducing the the shadows underneath them. Yeah, there's like some marks from uh, from pants or strap marks and that kind of thing. So you know we don't need that in there either. Uh, here it looks like there's some form of scar or something. That is something that I think is a part of the person. So I'll leave that stuff in there. Uh, but I'm just reducing the overall impact of it, and that way it's not uh, you know too distracting for the overall image. But you haven't you know, removed something that is characteristic of, uh, yeah, the individual. Uh, flyaway hairs is uh, normal and it's a pain to edit, but, uh, but, but we do it. Um, there's lots of tools and tricks on how to do it. Uh, I just do my best at the time and see what works. And uh, this one turned out to be okay. Um, sometimes you can spend a long time uh, getting stuck there. Um, yeah, making my way through still, just getting rid of any other little stray hairs, having a look around the whole image again to see if there's anything I missed. Uh, yeah, continually moving across the image, seeing if there's any spots and you know bits and pieces, double checking. Uh, here I'm running a basically a softening filter. And uh, I don't, I use it pretty lightly. Uh, I mask out the areas which I, um, you know, don't want to be affected and that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a very subtle um, level of filter that we use in the end. But uh, I, I think it's nice. Um, yeah, just glancing again over the skin, making sure everything's... Looking good, no crazy highlights or too deep of shadows. Here I'm comparing it to another image from the shoot to make sure they look consistent, which is important because they are all part of a set. And, uh, and when they're printed and when you have all your photos together, you want to make sure they still look the same after they've been edited. Um, and then here, yeah, I'm just kind of comparing the before and after at the end of it all. Zoom in a bit so you can see the difference. Uh, yeah, I think it was quite nice. It was a pretty good photo to begin with and didn't really need to do that much to it other than those little things. Uh, and that's basically about it. Uh, well, thank you for watching.